This is the most recent version of my 1x2x3 bumpoid. It's a shape modification of a 1x2x3 twisty puzzle. And as you can see when scrambled or checkerboarded like it is now, it makes some pretty interesting shapes. Since it's only a shape mod of a 1x2x3, which is one of the easiest cuboids out there, uh, it's not really difficult to solve, but it is it can be a fun challenge sometimes. Especially for someone who's never picked up a Rubik's Cube before. And uh, these stickers were professionally cut by Oliver Nagy. Uh, so uh, that was in exchange for one of the earlier copies of this puzzle. And uh, it looks really nice. There are some little uh, bubbles that you can see. Uh, but that's mostly just due to me poorly applying these stickers. So uh, I mentioned earlier there were... I went through a series of prototypes for these puzzles, for this puzzle. And I'll show some of them to you now. This was my first prototype, and as you can see, it's really flimsy. It's uh, not very high quality at all. Uh, yeah, there's a printed defect here. Uh, it uses a little pin in here to keep it all together instead of a screw, which all of the later versions use. And uh, yeah, it's really loose. I can actually probably take out a piece here, yeah, like right here. So, uh, I learned a lot from making this, and so I moved on to make my second prototype, which is this, which has uh, hand cut stickers by me, so uh, they're not very good. This one's peeling. It doesn't have a center cap. It's really flimsy, really loose, uh, but it does not fall apart like the first one did. So after this, I went on to what I showed you earlier, my third prototype, which has center cap, uh, better stickers, really it doesn't turn when you're just moving it around, it's a lot sturdier, uh, and yeah, I'm probably going to go on and make more prototypes of this, in fact I actually uh, already have. This is my most recent version, uh, it's a lot larger than the other ones, you see, uh, but that's because this is my first attempt to 3D print the puzzle fully assembled. Uh, and I didn't want any of the pieces to fuse together, so I made it as large as I felt like I uh, should. And uh, when this first came off the print bed, uh, there was a pin inside of here that was printed inside that let me turn this, and for a while it functioned pretty well. But then the pin broke, and I had to pry off the center cap and replace it with a screw. And uh, it's a proof of concept. I hope in the future to be able to uh, simply uh, design a puzzle, click print, and a couple hours later have a fully functional puzzle right out of the printer. But uh, for now, this is as far as I am. So yeah, that is demonstration and some of the prototypes of my 1x2x3 Bump Boy Twisty Puzzle. Uh, thank you for watching.